Okay, S starting off my third video in the series of uh, um, classification yard, we're going to do some wiring today. And what you're looking at here are my bus lines. Okay, we got a black one and a red one here. This is for my main line of passing siding. The green and the yellow, these are for the departure arrival yard. And the gray and the purple, this is for the classification yard, which we're, we're going to wire. And here are my feeders. I got a gray and purple feeders. Here's some more feeders here. If you can see those, I got some here too. And obviously here we got a feeder here. I don't know. This is for my first track. I think those feeders there are for... There are feeders coming off from the uh, other line there, the uh, receiving departure. Alrighty, so... here and I slice this right down like this try not to cut myself the best way to do it is just like this there's the plastic covering over it and we'll slice this again like this There we go. Uh, there you go. Hey. All right, let's do the other one. Hook the purple up to the purple. Purple wire goes to the purple. Twist us right around here like this. Like that. Twist this right around here like this. To solder, and you just solder these joints. It's the way I do. It. I mean, I mean, there. I'm sure there's other ways to to do it. That isn't this those suitcase connectors. I don't really like those. I like to make a solder joint. So anyway, let me get my solder gun. All right, let's let's solder these babies. I got. Got this bigger soldering iron here. It's my wife's soldering iron, actually. She d d uses this for her stained glass, so it's it's a good size, and it heats up this 14 gauge wire or 12 gauge. I'm not sure what this is. Real quick, solders it right in there. There you go. There's two soldered on here. Right from here. Here we go here. Alright. First track. Here it is. Alright, next step. We're going to use this stuff here. Right here. Uh, liquid electrical tape. And what I'm going to do here is 
let me take this and I'm going to cover it. Oh god, this stuff's gooey. I'm going to cover it over right here. There we go. We go here. Get it right there. There we go. Make sure you get her. Get her good on both sides. And there it is. There it is. There we go. There we go. And then last but not least, with the staple gun here, put the little thing down here, and I'm going to put a staple right into here with these two to hold them in place. Mm. Just like that. There we go. And that feeder wire's ready. Okay, we're going to uh, um, put plugs in between our tables here. As you can see, I've been using these guys here, which are kind of expensive when you buy the two of them. But now I found these at Home Depot. These little guys right here. Okay. And we're going to, right here, we're going to do this guy right here. And they want three eighths of an inch right there. Oh. Three eighths of an inch off of that. You don't have to do too much on these because these pop right in there. Basically, just gotta show a little bit of wire like that. Okay, take this end here. We'll take the. You see, there's a black circle on one. One of them has a black circle. We're going to put the green into the black circle. There we go. Pops right in like that. As you can see, right here, slide it in. Doink, and it goes. Do the other side. the other side here we go black with the grip black is the green just like this here and they pop right in there and the yellow <coughs> look at that there we go that easy and you get five of them like five bucks, so they're like a dollar each. So, can't beat that. Alrighty, here's what the package looks like. I got these at Home Depot. Here we are underneath. I got everything wired up here. You can see the, the black and the red are the main line bus. Arrival departure yard is the green and yellow bus, and you can see all my wires soldered in there and then covered with uh, with that um, liquid tape. Kind of makes a mess. I don't know if I'm going to use it again. And uh, of course, there's the purple and gray one that's 
the uh, um, uh, classification yard bus. And we'll come down here. This is one table. You look, I got quite a few wires because I do it every every three feet. I every place there's a rail joiner, I put a feeder in. Pretty much, not everyone, but just about uh, every every three feet. I like to put in a bus. So we're heading down that way. But there are the bus lines complete. Well, we got the juice on. We do have power. Yes, we do. The yard is getting ready here. What I want to do now is I'm going to isolate the classification yard so I can just shut the power off. Alrighty, now right here I had to gap this, I had to gap the track so I can isolate the um, the uh, uh, classification yard. And what I did is I cut it with the rotary tool and the chopper. There the and I actually uh, drilled and put a couple more spikes in on each side and then I crazy glued in these two pieces of um, of styrene in here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these off here trim these off from the top here like that exactly like right. as much as you can. Exacto knife. Then you take your files. So I got a brown file right here to get inside the webbing here. Of the Stand this off here like this. Each side here. This file too right here. File it off from the top. The side here too. Get it from the side. Takes care of that joint right there. The 
looks good. All right, here's the uh, here's the other end here. <coughs> here's the uh, cap here. I used uh, plastic rail joiners right here. This here, and the ones I used, I prefer them. I think they're the best if you want to use plastic rail joiners. They're the Pico Code 83 uh, plastic rail joiners. And I'm trying to find the package. Here's the package here. Here they are right here. This here is a, this is an Atlas one here. Not as good as the... Uh, they're a low profile so you they almost look like a regular rail joiner and, and they're plastic and they work well and, and you can paint them and they look just like regular rail joiners they look, look like the, the metal ones they're really good I, I like them and all right here's the other end of the ladder here where I Put in some plastic rail joiners, same ones, right here. I got them right here. They are the same kind. They're the Pico ones. Pico plastic rail joiners, and they're really they sit down low, and they look really really good. I'll bring these ties back up here. Finish this off here, and uh, that's it. I've isolated the uh, I've isolated one, two, three, these four tracks right here. The classification yard. And I, this will end. I'm, uh, the, uh, the video, now on the next video, I'm going to continue with the wiring. We're going to do a, uh, a, uh, a control panel uh, with toggle switches on it for the uh, switch machines, also an on off toggle to turn the power off to this one section uh, so you know if I'm parking cars in here or I have a short I'll be able to isolate all these three areas this area this area and that area and uh, eventually this track here the runaround track is going to be part of the of the third one that's going to be connected to the engine terminal so, if you like what you see here, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and I'll keep the videos coming. So.